us to the 10th episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 GCE Science in Paper 2. So in the previous episode we looked at question E C1. Then the first episode of this series of episodes looked at section A in e detail. So if you haven't seen the last nine episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel. Question C2A, define an acid. So in this case, we are just required to state what an acid is. So let me just create enough space, then we define what an acid is. So when you're talking about an acid, generally you are talking about an hydrogen containing a substance that is capable of donating an hydrogen ion to another substance. In other words, we are saying it is any substance that ionizes when it dissolves in water to give an hydrogen ion. That is what is known as an acid. So let me use a simple definition. So an acid is an substance that ionizes when it dissolves in water to give a positive or this is an hydrogen ion that is what is known as in an acid for example when you have hydrochloric acid, which is in aqua state, when you dissolve it in water, it's going to deassociate into hydrogen ion, which is aqueous, plus chloride ion, which is like this one. So this is an example of an acid. So this process so when you have a case where when we dissolve a substance in water, that substance deassociates into hydrogen ion and another ion, it is known as an acid. So this is the definition of an acid. Question B, start the following reaction scheme. So we have sodium hydroxide react with dilute sulfuric acid will give us solution K plus water then calcium hydroxide react with dilute nitric acid to give us solution L and the liquid M then the mixture are mixed then we get a white precipitate N and solution E O. Loma numero 1 give the names and the formula of substances K to O. So how can we identify this? It's by coming up with him the reaction equations of these processes. So let us start with the first one, which is K. When we react sodium hydroxide with dilute sulfuric acid, what do we get? So we are dealing with B, Loma numero 1. So when we react sodium hydroxide with sulfuric acid, we are going to get sodium hydroxide, which is aqueous. We react it with him sulfuric acid which is in aqueous we are going to get a salt so a salt will be sodium sulfate aqueous then plus in water so what will happen is this hydrogen which is released is going to form a water within this hydroxide so we get the water here which is liquid. So next we need to balance this equation. It is always important that you balance the equation. So we have two sodium this side. This side we have one so introduce two here so sodium is balanced. Then we have now four hydrogen because we have one multiplied by two, two plus two which is four. So this side we have only two so we can introduce two here so that is four, four. Then we have in tempered with sodium hydroxide, so sodium hydroxide remain balanced, then hydrogen is also balanced. Oxygen we have two plus in 
4 which is 6 this side did 2 plus 4 which is 6 then sulfur 1 1 so that one is now balanced so now if we look at this is k then this is water which is in this case so this is the k then this is water then we come to this one so for this one we have calcium hydroxide it reacted with it dilute sulfuric acid so now what will happen is we come to the second equation so it will be calcium hydroxide which is aqueous we react with it with nitric acid which is aqueous then we are going to get a salt the salt will be calcium nitrate then plus water so again this hydroxide and this hydrogen will form water so we're going to have water here which is liquid then this is aqueous so next what we do is to balance the equation so if you look at calcium we have one and one calcium is balanced then let us look at oxygen so oxygen we have two times one which is two plus three is five this side you have two times three which is six plus one is seven so one side we have seven the other side we have five so how can we balance these two so what we do is we introduce a two here when you put a two here we are going to have two times three is six plus two eight so this side we have eight so the only way we can balance this oxygen on the right hand side is to introduce a two here so we're going to have two two times one it's two plus six eight so you see balanced then we come to hydrogen we have two plus two which is four then this side you have four the nitrogen we have two because you see two times one then this side you have two times one two so this is now balanced so once this is balanced let us check the substance that we have so we have solution l and liquid m so liquid m you see this one which is water then solution e l you see calcium nitrate then what we have now is we have these solutions this solution and this solution because this is water and this is water we mix them so it's this solution and this solution that is going to react so it's solution k and solution l to give us a white precipitate and the solution o now you need to take note that all sulfates are soluble in water except calcium sulfate barium sulfate and the reed to sulfate so these are the ones that are insoluble in water so this white precipitate tells us this is an insoluble salt now remember we have calcium nitrate this side which is in this one then we have k which is sodium sulfate so these two are mixed in water to give us two products so what is going to happen is we're going to have a double displacement reaction that's what is going to happen so we just get space so we're going to have sodium sulfate aquas is going to be mixed with him calcium nitrate which is also aquas these are going to undergo double displacement so we are going to end up with him calcium sulfate which is in solid is a white precipitate then plus sodium nitrate which is aquas remember like i said all sulfates are soluble except for calcium sulfate which is this one barium sulfate and the lead to sulfate so this is the insoluble salt again as per tradition make sure that if you have time balance the equations so what you notice this side you have two 
sodium this side we have one so the first thing is to introduce a two here so we are balancing the sodium so once we balance the sodium we compare sulfur so sulfur one sulfur one sulfur is balanced we come to oxygen we have four plus six which is ten this side we have two times three six plus four ten so oxygen is balanced we come to calcium calcium one one is balanced nitrogen two because one times two is a two then this side you have two times one so you see a balanced equation so what we notice is the insoluble the white precipitate which is n is in calcium sulfate then this solution o is sodium nitrate so once you do this you get this five marks so let me just list it so this is k we found it to be sodium to sulfate then what is l l is calcium nitrate what is m m is water what is n n is calcium sulfate what is o o is sodium nitrate so once you do this you are good to go question b loma numero 2 write the balanced chemical equation for the formation of l and liquid m so we've already done this equation which is the formation of calcium nitrate so remember this is the balanced equation that we did this is the formation of l and m question loma numero 3 write an ionic equation for the formation of white precipitate n include state symbols so remember we are just from doing this equation so just go to that page and write an ionic equation so this is b loma numero 3 of b so because of this two this is going to be two sodium cations plus remember this is aqueous plus sulfate anion aqueous then plus we are going to have calcium cation which is aqueous then plus we are going to have two nitrate anion this is going to give us calcium sulfate which is solid remember this is aqueous plus we are going to get now two sodium cations which is aqueous then plus two nitrate anion with this negative so now at this point what you notice is this one and this one is the same they cancel you notice also that this one and this one are the same they cancel so we're going to end up with the sulfate aqueous anion is going to react with the calcium cations to give us a new product which will be calcium sulfate which is solid so this is the ionic equation that we expected to write so once you do that you are good to go and you get these 10 marks so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at the last question of this paper